hi guys and thanks for pledging to me and welcome to the tutorial uh, some basics first uh, every single tutorial that I made I have uh, the actual sketches done because it takes like for me about one to two hours to sketch every every picture that I make and uh, I don't video record the sketching, actual sketching, because uh, well, it's not that interesting. I'm just drawing here and there, and then it becomes what it becomes. Huh? Uh, sometimes I use reference pictures. I either take them myself, or then I use some that are uh, creative common, so you are allowed to use them. And then I like Photoshop together many pictures, and from that I then draw a sketch. But uh, anyway, welcome to the tutorial, and let's begin. So this is the picture waterfall Neptune, and I start with a basic layer coloring with highlights and shades, so in a basic blue for the water. Uh, it's a normal brush, an opacity of 80 and I'm coloring out all that is uh, the water area but not the waterfalls when I'm done with this I will add a new layer and uh, pick a brown color for the surface area for mountains and stones and with the same brush with a opacity of 60 I will now start to color the basics of the surface areas. Uh, in this part I already use pressure in different ways to get a little out of the shading and a little so-called 3D or whatever. Uh, but this is just for me, it's not actually any any part of the actual color technique that I use. Uh, so I take the opacity down to about 40 and color the background of the waterfall and always remember to use different layers. So a dark blue for the sky with opacity of 60 and make it a gradient but you can also use a gradient filter. Uh, then I have rendered a basic moon in 3D Photoshop before and now I use it as a smart object. After this I use a blue color with a hint of turquoise and the opacity is 50 to the waterfalls. So I color out all the areas where the waterfall is and then I uh, align all layers in the proper way. Uh, and now I start to use the rubber on my pen with an opacity of 50 on the waterfall and erase the moon overflow. Uh, but you can also use masks and I think that it's much better. Next I'm masking in worse. Use some white color with basic brush to highlight the moon. Put some shadow with a basic white and black. A brush with a really low opacity. But when I'm done I add a new layer style other, and uh, outer glow white and lightning and in worse the layer again add new layer and start illuminating it with white brush passage of 20% after this I take new layer start a black brush opacity of 30 and make the sky gradient add a new layer and use a white brush easy nebula brush with opacity of 60 and adding a layer on this using same brush opacity of 20 adding a magenta color and a starstruck brush easy opacity 80 I add some uh, stars the water layer I Add a layer to start the dark blue opacity of 55%. Add a shade and prove the layers underneath water layer. Uh, now next I use smart object moon. I copy it and uh, reflect it vertically. 
place it in the water and uh, take layer option down uh, the layer opacity down to 30 and use the smudge tool to uh, make it more going with the flow of the water looking like it's moving on the surface and uh, water layer add layer and again with the darker blue start to shade out deeper areas of the shading that I'm doing now and uh, when I th I'm satisfied with the shading of the darker blue in the water area where it's supposed to be deeper or more uh, shadow or something um, Adding a second layer and a green slash turquoise brush up opacity of 70 to add some algae. Uh, and I, I decided to shade area in the same layer. Don't do this, that's stupid. Use a second layer. Uh, adding a layer and starting to highlight the foam like blue basic soft brush up opacity of 70%. Yet again, shading the foam in the same layer, not a good idea. I highlight the foam with a lighter blue in a new layer and next I smudge out the foam and the algae. I use the bottom dark layer and with default being pixelate fragmenting filters option to add the noise to the water like this and then I smudge this layer to get movement in the water so I get more more of the uh, waves, waves and so on in the water next I add a bright white highlight to the foam area with a soft brush and opacity of 70 then I smudge it out to get it more natural looking uh, this I do in a new layer of course again and uh, when I'm done with this, getting the splashes and so on done, I add a layer underneath the algae and use a, a drop tool for the same color and change it a little lighter to bring out some glow in the algae. Uh, now I let, uh, align the layers properly again and add a layer, then I use wave brush uh, from brush easy and add it as a white with opacity of 10% to the layers right underneath the foam layer and uh, I smudge it a little to tweak it afterwards and then I start to new uh, a new layer of light blue color with opacity of 70 under the waterfall layer and decide to add a little waterfall The blue I also add in the water under the foam areas and uh, now I add a light blue highlight above the, the layer with a hard brush of opacity of 80. This is the flow of the waterfall and after this when I'm done with the hard brush above the waterfall layer I start to smudge it out so it looks more natural. Mm. Next up, after the smudging, when I'm done, done smudging out the waterfall, all in all, I add a new layer uh, of a white highlight and uh, to the already highlighted area in waterfall uh, with a hard brush of 50% I start to highlight more of the foam area above the waterfall and then I smudge it a little out afterwards also getting that natural feel to it now after this 
I, I give it a little splash splash to it with the with the smudge brush also. Uh, and then I correct the water waves layer um, by smudging it out in the sky area and give, uh, use it as uh, extra lum lum luminance. And uh, next up I start coloring the mountain area with a lighter, slightly more yellow-brown uh, color with a soft brush of a opacity of 60 to 70 percent. So I check with the layers always in between that it looks pretty much as I want it to look. Um, anyways, next up I choose a darker brown uh, soft brush with an opacity of 60 to 70 percent and uh, I in a new layer I start to color out the shadow area on the mountain uh, painting, painting a small cave near the water or caves rather when I'm done with this, I use the selection tool uh, and choose a light khaki color and uh, with a small soft brush of an opacity of 65, I start to highlight uh, with the moon as a light source all of the mountain area and uh, stones of course and when I'm done with this, I smudge out the color to get a more natural look for it and to get the blur away the smudge is easy, easier to do you hide all other layers and use a small tip when the smudging when you smudge the edge uh, this I don't do in the video but I realized it's much easier than having all other layers going on with this uh, also, I always have the smudge as a normal smudger, not dark or light. Finally, I start smudging in the layer above all other layers and to do the final touch to the smudge. Uh, next up, I use a black soft brush uh, in a new layer with an opacity of just above 50. And uh, with this, I start to give the picture more depth by adding to the to the cave areas. And then I decide to add more highlight in the highlight layer, contrasting the depth. Uh, next up, I use a smudge tool to make a stalactites and stalagmites in the cave areas. And how you do this? is pretty much up to your imagination but I keep the smudge tool normal and uh, make the forms darker on the sides heading away from the moon and vice versa mm. next I use uh, when I'm done with the stalactites and stalagmites I use a brush easy brush called stone and uh, with a highlight color I add texture to the mountain area and, I, and after that I smudge it out the stone brush so that it follows the shape of my mountain now I smudge out pretty much with a opacity of 50 uh, pretty roughly all the areas that is, are highlighted mm, just to get a texture to the mountain that feel normal. Uh, now I add a layer just above the water layer and use an indigo color with a soft brush of 30, 45 to 50 and make the shading in the water. Uh, a waterfall smudge tweak after this and then I save the project. Uh, remember to save often and the project. And the canvas that I use is uh, 2048 times 1280 pixels with 72 ppi but now I use minimum of 4000 times 2000 pixels uh, lastly I tweak the final pick with uh, hue and saturation hue plus 36 saturation 29 light minus 5 and then I'm done so anyway guys uh, 
I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, please leave a comment, and uh, if you if you have any questions, you may ask them in my email. Uh, design at doublearchangel.com and uh, mm, I hope you learned something from this and I'm sorry for having a really poor mic I have to buy a new one but I uh, haven't gone to do that yet anyways have a great summer and take care peace <laughs>